Hi, my name is Jack. I have a degree in physics and I'm currently working for Maths Doctor. I also have plenty of tutoring experience through Maths Doctor, through the Aim Higher Mentoring Scheme and also when I went into school as part of the SAS Scheme. I currently live in Brighton. I'm going to be looking at answering this question 47 times 23. The first method that I'm going to present is the standard long multiplication method. Okay, now this is one that many children will probably be familiar with, but maybe not so comfortable with. It's important firstly that you line up all of the columns. So we've got the units in one column and the tens in another column. Now the first thing we do is we do 3 times 7. This is 21, so we write it like this, the small 2, we carry the 2. The next thing we do is 3 times 4, but because it's actually 40 we can write it across one. So 3 times 4 is 12, and add on the 2 that's already there, gives us 14. Now we look to the bottom row, um, sorry, starting with the 2, this actually stands for 20, so what we can do is we can write in a 0 here straight away and just do 2 times 7, 14, carry the 1, and now 2 times 4 is 8, add the 1, 9. So the final thing that we want to do is to add up all the columns. 0 and 1 is 1, 4 and 4 is 8, 9 and 1 is 10. Okay, now that's quite a tricky method, so I'm now going to show you uh, a simpler method that we can do the same sum by. Okay, so First, I've got to draw out a grid. So it's going to need two columns and two rows. And what we're going to do is we're going to put one number at the top and one number at the side. And we'll see how this works out. Okay, so at the top we've got 47. Down the side we've got 23. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the numbers together in the grid. So let's look at the first one. The first one we've got 2 times 4, so the answer is going to go in here. But remember, this 4 is actually 40, this 2 is actually 20. But we can do 2 times 4, so just multiply the digits, and then add in the extra two zeros, so 1 from the end of 4, and 1 from the end of 20. Okay, now we're going to do 20 times 7. So this is just 7 times 2, 14, and then add in the extra 0. Now let's go down to the bottom. 3 times 40 is just 3 times 4, 12, and the 0 on the end. And finally, this one is just 3 times 7, 21. So hopefully they were a bit easier to work out, or definitely organise. Now we've got to add up the two columns. So the two numbers in each column. So let's start with 140 and 21. So add up the columns, we've got 1, 4 and 2 is 6, and then just 1. And this one we've got 0 and 0 is 0, 2 and 0 is 2, 1 and 8 is 9. So the final thing then that we've got to do is add up these two numbers, 920 and 161. So let's do that over on this side, 920 add 161 
Again, just adding up the columns, so we've got 0 and 1 is 1, 2 and 6 is 8, and then 9 and 1 is 10. So again, we get the same answer, 1081.